<laughs> All right, Facebook, YouTube, uh-oh. Mac, you know, election day was the other day, you know, and I'm hearing a lot of uh, people happy, you know. Well, the Republicans are happy and Democrats are not happy. And, you know, here's the thing, you know, I want to ask a question to... Uh, y'all Americans um, about the ideal of the reality you know uh, the, the topic of this message is called about you know the reality of united uniting you know what I'm saying uh, uniting but we're called the United States of America yeah Funny, we got that word united on there, you know. Yeah, but we are United States, you know, and, you know, in our country. But yet, we have a political system that has two, you know, uh, different uh, views called Republican and Democrats. <laughs> And they got other stuff, you know. And, uh, but, okay, what, now we're called the United States, you know what I'm saying? Shouldn't, if we're going to be called the United States, shouldn't we be about a country that's all about being united in every aspect concerning politics? Ha, 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 ha. I mean, this idea of uh, Republican versus Democrats, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, Jesus said, there shall be kingdom against kingdom. Mm. That means system against system, you know? And, and, of course, Jesus says, if any kingdom, any system that comes against itself shall not stand. Yeah. I mean, but we're getting... Uh, but, you know, to me, and that's what politician, to me, politics is professional people, to me, try, people that are acting professional, trying to, doing something immature. That's what I hear. I hear immaturity. You know what I'm saying? Uh, anything that has something to do with arguing over issues that are going on in the country and arguing over that, to me, I see immaturity that's what I see if you don't God taught me if you don't know how to come in agreement with you know somebody that that means that shows forth that you don't know how to uh, you that's a form of immaturity if if it's of something good if it's of something that's going to help somebody to get better you know what I'm saying truly get somebody better you know what I'm saying that you will, you know, come in agreement of something that's all about getting something better. I mean, I think, you know, if we're going to be truly a United States, we should be united in something that's all about getting things better. But what if, you know, that, you know, guy Satan, a.k.a. now, you know, a cultist worship is Lucifer, uh got this scheme of things that, you know, putting a lot of negative influence on television and you know, radio and, you know, got people united or, uh, no, disputing over issues that are being created because of negative influences going on in the world. You know, everybody's ignoring the negative influence in, in on television and uh, radio. And then they're like, oh, whoa, it's a bad system. Oh, something bad is happening. Oh, somebody is, you know, uh, n nobody's working. N no, Nobody's not going to school. N no, nobody, bad things going on. People stealing. People hurting each other. Oh, but let's ignore that stuff that goes on in BT and MTV and all that influence and bad things happening going on there and you know, you know, giving people ideas of how bad relationships and you know, fool around with everybody and you know, 
have, you know, operating fornication and operating, you know, all kind of wicked sins. But let's ignore that. But, oh, bad things are happening. Oh, guess what? You know what? I believe that the Democrats or the Republicans are going to need to help this bad thing from stop happening. But let's, you know, ignore the negative influence that, you know, that will give people that idea to do crazy things and treat people crazy and, you know, mess people's lives up and break families down and, you know, um, and not establish a good and better country. <laughs> let's ignore that and let's let these uh, Democrats and Republicans to come together with the solution to make this world a better place. Yeah. Oh my God. I mean, look, if you can't get united, well, look, this is Mac talking. Now Mac got to get in his kingdom mode. Well, you know, I'm a kingdom citizen of heaven and I follow the rules of heaven, you know, and I follow rules that if you're about unity, you are about something that's all about doing something good and holy and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Yeah, you know the one that on your dollars in God we trust? Yeah, that that guy. Yeah, God. Um, you, you about, you know, following his instructions and following his rules because God did bless America, did he? Yeah, I think he blessed America with a whole lot of resources that can be utilized for the sake of helping this country better. But I'm seeing, uh, hearing a lot of cursing in, going on in radio and television and all kind of places. I hear a lot of cursing going on. And what, you know, I learned in the Word of God that, you know, there's death and life is in the power of the tongue. And... Uh, so if a lot of people are perishing because something is going on in this country that, you know, things are going bad, it's because of the death and life that has been going on in television and radio and, you know, and no, not enough and a little less of life, you know, little less of life, you know, uh, going on in, in, in there that things are not going to be operated quarterly. No, it's not going to happen correctly. That's what I'm seeing, you know. That's what I'm seeing from my kingdom view. And, and if you're going to truly be a united, if you want to put united in front of the states, you should be united for the cause of the person of the God that you trust in on the dollar bill to trust that he should make things right. Yeah. Oh, that is so politically incorrect you know what i just said you know oh probably is because you know it's not it's no room to get man to be lifted up you know what i'm saying man to be elevated man to be praised man to be worshipped by people clapping because some other another you know statistic you know politician is going to be elected that's really not going to solve the problems going on now here's the thing I want y'all to understand, you know, uh, American people. Uh, these people uh, that's going to get elected, you know, where where are they going to stay at? Oh, they're going to stay in wonderful places, and oh, and and they're going to be a charge of a lot, a lot of money, you know, a lot of money that pretty much I believe God blessed, you know, to them. Uh, money, but what are they going to do? With, the question is, what are they going to do with that money? Are they going to use this money to really bless America, or are they going to be about using it to curse America? Because it's their church choice, because the God of America has this thing, like I said, Deuteronomy, that you know, he put before a person uh, life or death, you know, blessing and curses. They have a choice to choose to use that money or use their resources to bless the country or curse it. Well, mm, and what's been happening all through human history? Have you been seeing a lot of blessing from the White House? You know, uh, I haven't. You know, I haven't. I mean, 
and I didn't see the blessings really come down to, you know, the p poor people, you know. Shout outs to D. Haddon on Heaven Knows. You know, I love that song. I play that song over and over again in my mind. You know what I'm saying? You know, the poor are still getting poor. The rich are still getting rich. The poor are still getting poor, you know. Um, you know, we, you know, we find millions of dollars and fighting senseless wars. And they talk about terrorism. What about the quiet racism? And, you know, I'm, you know, the racism. I don't believe in racism, you know. I just believe that people, you know, need to, you know, understand that, you know, love somebody. Not love somebody and not some color. That's, oh, that's what God is all about. Love one another, you know. That's all I believe. Love one another. There's no racism. You, there's no racism can operate when you just love somebody. <laughs> but anyway, that's another, you know, topic. But I like that song, Deidre Hatton. I play it all the time, you know. Heaven knows. And look, if we're about a true United States, we will be about not really... We, well, we'll, we'll be really about voting on, you know, the laws. Like, I want, look, if, it, if, if we're going to have a united, a true good United States, follow me, um, American people. How about let's vote for the laws of what needs to be said. What if we, you know, a group, I vote a law that we, you know, uh, have a more positive uh, shows and reality shows on you know television and and positive music on television you know that the uh gospel will have you know more uh shows and sitcoms you know what i'm saying and and you know I, that people can't you know still do they dark whatever they do mtv bt they can still do their thing but i'm voting for us that we can present our ideal shows and our ideal sitcoms and our ideal music concerning every genre, you know, that's out there and, you know, show our our shows that's on, you know, put it on television and make people choose whether they want to listen to a secular view or a true Christian view. Not just, you know, all those preaching and teaching programs that's going on, you know, preaching and teaching, preaching and teaching. No, have more sitcoms and more uh, reality shows and more games and you know just like the world got games we got games you know they got uh hip hop we got hip hop they got uh pop songs we got pop songs they have you know this we got that too and present both of them you know to people that's what I vote for you know that's what I'm going to vote for if we vote for laws just you know balance it out you know what I'm saying you have this over here. We have this over there on television. They're not going to... I mean, we have our own cri cri Christian talk shows. Christian talk shows. There's no Christian, really, Christian talk show out there, you know? There's <laughs> secular talk shows, but there's no Christian talk show. I would like to watch a Christian talk show. That's, that's not going to happen, you know, because talk shows, you know, are a good platform to really get real about the reality of a lot of things, you know, and put Jesus Christ in a reality talk show, uh-oh, people start will start seeing the truth. Start seeing that Jesus Christ is, you know, a legitimate, you know, re uh, somebody you should follow. <laughs> and he's about reality. He's about real. He's not about religion. <laughs> uh-oh, you know, don't want that to find out. We just want people to watch those religious programs. They call them religious programs. That, you know, this person preaching and teaching and preaching and teaching and Preaching and teaching, you know. Don't put, you know, Jesus Christ on the display of, you know, in a real display that people hear in the reality of the truth. That might interfere with the dark plan that is going on that is all about making people corrupted and confusion, conflict, and chaos. Yes, that's what I'm all about voting for, but that other politician of man solving problems, no, I'm not going to fall for the banana in the tailpipe. Beverly Hills cop Axel Foley. No, nope, Mac is not falling for the banana and tailpipe. He's falling for, he's rising up with his, you know, creator, and he's going to talk about the things of truth and not lies. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm all about concerning this, 
if you truly about a United States, you'll be a united of something that is making things better and not worse. All right, that's the message. I hope you understand why I'm coming from American people and be united in the God you're supposed to trust in in the dollar bill. To God be the glory, Him forever and ever. Jesus, amen.